Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot issues with the Verizon Fios box. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so if your Verizon Fios box is acting up, for example freezing, no signal, missing channels, audio issues, or not turning on, there are a few solid steps we can take before calling customer support. So one of the most basic things, we need to check the power. So make sure the power cord is securely plugged into the back of the box and the wall outlet. If there's no power light, try a different outlet. Some boxes have power button on the front, try pressing it. And also way at the back of the box, ensure all cables, HDMI, coaxial, power, Ethernet are all securely connected. You can try swapping HDMI ports or cables over if you're getting no picture. All right, fix number three is to reboot, reboot the Fios box. So unplug the power cord from the back of the box, wait 15 to 30 seconds, and then plug it back in. We're doing a soft reset here. Then let it fully reboot, which could take up to five minutes. Fix number four, check for signal or channel issues. So if some channels are missing, try tuning to a different channel then back or on your remote, press menu, go to customer support, fix Fios TV issues, run a channel rescan depending on the model. Fix number five, so if there's error messages or frozen screen, look for an on-screen error code like CP05 or OCAP. A full factory reset may help if rebooting doesn't fix it, but doing a factory reset might erase all your settings like favorites on parental controls too. So to do this, go to menu, customer support, top support tools, factory reset. If you're getting no signal or blank screen, double check your TV is set to the correct input. For example, HDMI 1, 2, etc. Also try using another HDMI port or switching cables. If the box lights are on but there's no video, it could be a TV input or HDMI handshake issue. All right, fix number seven is check for service outages. So every now and then, there could be an outage on the server side. So go to My Verizon app or My Verizon website to see if there's outages in your area and also run diagnostics on your TV equipment as well. And now if it's still not working after all the things I've said previously, go ahead and contact Verizon Tech Support. So that's their customer support number here. Or you can chat via the My Verizon app or website. 